Hello everyone, my name is The Last Dragonborn and today we're gonna play, we're gonna watch a battle, not gonna play it, between the Kingdom of, uh, the Duchy of Brabant and uh, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, I think. Yeah. And uh, the armies are pretty match, pretty even. And uh, they have uh, their roster is like they have four in units of ca cavalry, Brabant and knights mainly, yeah, and the general of course, the Duke of Brabant, six units of urban spear militia, I, I think, yeah, all of them, uh, five units of swordsmen, low country swordsmen, yeah, and two units of Levy Bowman and one of dismounted barbarian knights, heavy shock infantry. On the other side, uh, Lithuania has um, four units of cavalry, Polish, Lithuanian, po Georgia. I don't know how to pronounce that. Mainly Polish, Lithuanian knights, something like that, or boyars, or nobles. They have uh, seven units of uh, ducal infantry, many melee infantry. Yeah, they are all the same. Six units of uh, Ducal Spearmen, I think. Yeah. And one unit of uh, Heavy Shock Infantry, Ducal Heavy Axemen, and one unit of Lithuanian Skirmishers. Interesting, to be honest. I uh, am expecting to see what's gonna happen. To be honest, uh, the Brabantian roster is better than the uh, one of the Lithuania. Mainly because they have just infantry. They do not. The, this heavy shock infantry is not matching the heavy shock infantry of the, the Brabantians. So, yeah, let's see. This is a face-off, I think. They are trying to see who is gonna move, and of course the the Latinians are gonna move because they have the advantage of the ground here. Look at these dunes. They are looking cool, though. To be honest, this is like a valley between dunes. How weird it is. Yeah, and they are coming down. Look at these soldiers, man. They are looking so sick. They are moving their army, I see. The Brabantians and uh, their cavalry. Oh, not just the, just the cavalry. They moved a little bit from here, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, do something. <laughs> uh, the thing is that they can skirmish each other because this guy just has uh, only the training skirmishers. And uh, here, the Brabantes have Levy Bowmen, but if they risk to skirmish, maybe they will rally and attack. To be honest, I, I don't know what uh, should you do in this situation. I think you should advance slowly and in formation to take less damage from uh, the Levy Bowman, but I see that they are not uh, put on uh, automatically to skirmish, so they are uh, just uh, good. Why should I? You should keep their ammo, or at least um, put them back into the lines and try to use them in uh, your uh, flanks, basically to skirmish the flanks. Okay, for some reason, they retreat. They've made a formation, a standoff, a V kind of formation. Oh, I've seen that before, this tactic. It's quite useful. You just uh, put one of the dismounted, or one of the heavy shock infantry that is good, and uh, throw it into battle against uh, a, a line in center and retreat one of your swordsmen basically or the unit that holds the line in the center and that will trick your enemy and will be uh, your your shock heavy shock infantry can uh, let's put it the enemy has laid an ambush uh, you, your heavy shock infantry can do the job basically uh, it can break the lines very quickly in the center center Okay, a little bit of lag, uh, and also you have a free unit <laughs> to spare if something is going wrong. 
Nice. I thought just destroy this unit here. It's not even information, it's just GG. To be honest, Brabant is playing well here in a defensive line, to be honest. Uh, the enemy refuses to admit defeat. Again, like this save is old, probably because of that. I don't know. Also, they are using their archers, but this, not this unit, I guess. They're attacking now. You should save one of your unit to encircle and just attack with one. You have four units here. Don't attack with two units. That's kind of dumb, but uh, well. Decisions are made on the, the spot, so like you see here, it's a, a V formation type or, or U type of formation that defense defensive formation. They have they have isolated this flank from this center on this flank. Okay. For some reason, oh, they are retreating to just uh, attack again. You know, they have shock. Oh, because of the shock infantry, they massacred this unit here. Well, that's kind of bad. You have to win. For now, it's just a stalemate, to be honest. But still, the, this, the heavy shock infantry deals a lot of damage in the center. And I think the Lithuanians had more troops, one or two units more than the the Brabantians. So weird. Well, do that. You can kill your general by doing that. Okay, here I see that they are losing for some reason. That will be mostly... They are not used for 100% of their power to say so. You have to bring them into flank and skirmish the enemy, you know. They are trying to take out the, the cavalry first. Oh, this is so... so so bad for the Brabantians right now because they can now just and attack the center on this flank without uh, mercy why so laggy? look at them looking so cool Hmm. Still, don't understand. Their uh, the low country swordsmen are better than the Lithuanian ones. That's kind of weird that they are losing the fight. Okay, they are winning now. They destroyed some units here, but your cavalry is more precious into battle with the. Oh, to be honest, this battle can be won by the Brabantes still, but I don't know. They still have the same count of people, of the of troops, but they can lose very easily. The thing is that they they should have done from the beginning is to uh, charge their units here, their because they wasted some time. On uh, on the rest, you, uh, they still have some units here. Lol. Okay. They are dealing some damage with this cavalry. To be honest, the, they still have a one unit of cavalry. Yeah, it's laggy for some reason. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Oh, that's bad. Don't do that. <laughs> Your elite troops are getting destroyed if you do that. Well, I think the Lithuanians got the, the upper hand because of these two units. Hmm. Oh, their elite shock, heavy shock infantry are done. Our men have regrouped. So yeah, basically, 
so basically Lithuania can do it. I don't know for sure, we shall see, it's, to be honest, it's a cool battle, it's a close one, a close victory for the enemy, or for the, I don't know, the generals aren't dead, and most, because of that, mostly because of that, isn't over yet, but, uh, it seems that, that Brabant got the upper hand again. <laughs> this is so cool to watch, to be honest. Damn their weapons and are fleeing! Well, it's dead. And their general, and our the Brabantian general basically is dead, and the the battle is over. The first general that died has decided the battle basically. So yeah, it's GG for Brabant. It, the, the player played well, to be honest. Lives. It was a cool battle. Like you see, it was a V formation here by by seeing the dead, and I don't know why it's laggy like this. Okay, Valiant defeat. Yeah, kind of. Uh, I had one more unit. But most of the kills were done by the cavalry man. Wait, look at this. And the dismounted the uh, X-Men or however they're called. Uh, for the Brabantians, most of the jobs was done by the cavalry too and the dismounted Brabantian knights. But, uh, and some of their swordsmen, but mostly because the Lithuania won because the Barbantian knights lost that battle against the Polish Lithuanian nobles, basically. So, yeah, uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Goodbye.